Hi Libra, welcome to your love and romance reading from now until May 2nd, which time Venus, you know, the all loving, the one that guides us, the Libras, um, all loving, seductive, sexual, romantic, um, is she is in Pisces during this time, which is already emotional and loving in itself. So things that people are desiring, things that people want when it comes to love, everything is going to deepen and there's going to be faster movement during this time. So we're going to see what's in your energy. For those of you that are new, please subscribe, like, and share. That way you'll continue to get notifications of all the readings that I post. But also I can tune into your energy and bring more um, personal messages to you guys that you know will only resonate for you from spirit. For those of you that are um, new, oh, I just said that. For those of you that have asked me about personal readings, inquired about them, my Etsy shop is up and running, Lotus444. I will leave the link below. Um, and they're very inexpensive. I don't feel like I should charge a lot for guidance. So they're there for you. I'm going to keep adding more readings to it. Um, but you can go over there if you're interested. All right, this is for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm also going to do a singles reading, so there might be additional messages for you there. Happy, happy. Amazing. A change in the wind. All right, let's see, guys. I'm going to do a card for your energy. card for your person's energy and the overall outcome. Could be dealing with a fire sign because the fire queen of wands and the ace of cups were at the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling. And look at that, king of wands. So it might be a fire sign. All right. Can I please have Libra's energy? Libra's energy during this time. So you're manifesting. You're manifesting a brand new. You're manifesting what you want when it comes to love. You might already have a person in mind. You might be in separation. You might be with somebody and just wondering where it's going. So you're manifesting like something grounded. Something supportive. Something that you know is long term. Got the rose quartz right there. Well, can I please have a card for Libra's person's energy? Thank you, Spirit. Page of Wands. Definitely could be a fire sign. This person um, is... It's like they want to move in... They want to move in with passion towards you. They also see long-term with you. Your person might have a tattoo. You might have a tattoo. You might have a child together. One of you might have a child. But yeah, you want that brand new beginning. I feel like they're going to sponta spontaneously come towards you. What is the overall outcome between Libra and their person? Overall outcome between Libra and their person. Thank you, Spirit. King of Swords. It's like knowing what you want. Not willing to like play games. It's going to be solid. You just, you know, it's like knowing that both of you want this. No more games. And Archangel Michael is saying, yeah, exactly, clarity, communication, solid romantic communication, solid loving communication. And Archangel Michael is guiding this, showing up in your reading, Libra. Like I said, definitely could be a fire sign. For those of you who don't want a fire sign, um, they might have fire in their chart, but it's like, Fire keeps showing up, though, in this reading. It's like they have the dedication. They want to work on this with you. 
this fast moving communication is coming in. I'm going to get clarity. Change in the wind. So I feel like if you're at a distance from one another, it's like change in the wind. It's like realizing you might have already been manifesting a return of this person in your breath, but it's like your person is your person knows that there's passion and they're going to come toward you but you're going to be able to trust it look at that piece of cups at the bottom all right spirit can you please clarify the magician for libra's energy thank you yeah you're manifesting a plan. You're putting it out there to the universe and your spirit sources that you want to make amends with this person. Shifting energy. Again. Because you know that this person is your nine of cups. Your wish fulfillment. I love this. All right. Can you please clarify page of wands for Libra's person? Yeah, I feel, I feel like they're, they're being patient. They're getting balance in their life. They might be healing from something if you have been apart from this person. If you're with this person currently, it's like you're manifesting that, that solid relationship that, the two, that you want with this person that you're with currently. For those of you that are with someone. Your person... They might be, they are being patient. It's like they're doing the things that they that they love to do. What causes them passion in their life? With that, I think it's um, harmonic. She's playing on a harmonic. Is that if it, is that the word? But I feel like she they want she because it's a she, and I'm getting like tongue tied. I feel like they want to come toward you and give you communication but they want to make sure that it's um it brings clarity they want to make sure that it's going to lead to a beginning they're just being patient because they want to make sure it's the perfect time all right overall outcome king of swords and ace of swords king of swords with the ace of swords King of Swords with the Ace of Swords. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely somebody from the past. So, there was a judgment call. There was a pause in this relationship. And it was like an aha moment for both of you. Three major arcana at the bottom. Definitely, this is being got a four five this is huge there is a spiritual connection with this person there's an all-knowing that the two of you should be together i don't feel like you guys are talking to one another right now but there it's like a a cautious travel back towards one another you're following the light spirit is guiding this One of you might be by a beach. But it's like there's a leveling up here with the king of swords. It's like, like I said, an equal give and take relationship. A no games, run or chase or no bullshit kind of game. There's clarity coming into this. There's communication that's going to offer healing, happiness, clarity. There is memories with this person. And there was time for the two of you to be apart. You both are coming back abundant and emotionally grounded. You both have worked on yourselves and figured out what you wanted within yourselves, your finances, your career. The eagle is also a sign of communication. But Archangel Michael, your spirit source, is definitely guiding this. I love this for you guys. Definitely somebody from the past is coming towards you. They have memories of with the two of you. 
memories that they keep replaying. That is what both of that's what both of you that's how both of you got to the King of Swords energy. It's like you know, probably through other relationships, what you don't want to tolerate anymore. But it's also a deep knowing that this person causes you happiness. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in their mind. Engagement ring, partnership, commitment, eternity, union. For some of you, you might be getting engaged. For others of you, you might have been married or engaged and separated. The phoenix rising, new phase, rekindle. This is so on point. Lightning, aha moment. Sudden change, surprise, transformation, change in the wind. I love it. All right, let me see if there's any repeating. Mm, there's six, three, 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 three. Pay attention to repeating threes. It's spirit's way of grabbing your attention. Pay attention to your thoughts and your environment at the time. All right, guys. Amazing reading. Let me know how this resonates, and I will be back for many more readings. And like I said, if you are new, please subscribe, like, and share. Stay safe.